How do, gamesters and fellow toy hunters? I'm coming to you today with my July Loot Crate box opening. I just got this in the mail yesterday, and I had to work yesterday, and uh, so I didn't get around to uh, shooting this until today. So I was really, really excited for this to come in the mail. Uh, when I got the email that it had shipped, I was just over the moon because this month's theme is villains. So I'm I'm a villain girl, you know. Of course, I love my heroes. You know, I'm a good girl all the way. Yay, the conquering hero. Uh, but there's something about a good villain that just, you know, I mean, where would the hero be without the villain? We just have good happy endings all the time without any effort. So. Every hero needs their villain, and villains play an extremely important part in their stories. So without further ado and without more rambling, I'm going to go ahead and open this box, and uh, we'll see what's inside. I know that they said we were going to have an exclusive t-shirt again for uh, this month's box. I will be going ahead and putting my subscription link in the um, comments or in the information box below so you can go ahead and um, sign up for this if you'd like. I was impressed with last month's box so hopefully uh, this month will definitely uh, definitely keep up with that. I'm just laughing over what they did to the inside of this box. Um, this box is definitely going to uh, hold up uh, against the last month's box. Um, as you can see on the inside uh, if you watched my last box review, this top part's usually very clean and has a nice little message. And um, they did it up like uh, the villains got a hold of it. And you see the Joker and Harley, um, two of my favorite villains or my favorite villain team uh, ever. So I'm really happy to see them on this box. Um, yeah, you see the, the bomb there and uh, the skull and just instead of uh, tips for the perfect unboxing, it says tips for the perfect crime. And um, yeah, it says uh, share with no one and it's, it's enjoy and they put like a broken heart line down the middle of it and it says or else on the bottom. Um, so really, really cute packaging. I'm, I'm very impressed with that. Uh, definitely. Now the the shirt is on top. Oh, this is so cute! And I get, as I said before, I get my shirts extra huge because I wear them as sleep shirts with uh, yoga pants and stuff. So I like getting guys' shirts just to wear them as jammies. But um, this month's shirt is the Joker, and it's kind of a it's a mashup. It's the Joker as Loki. So that is too stinking cute. I can't wear to wait to wear this. It's his jokey. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Ah, oh, I love it. Yes, I'm gonna block the camera just for a second because I have to look at that. Oh my goodness. So yeah, definitely it's totally worth it. And um, I believe the subscriptions uh nine. I think it's nineteen with the shipping. Um, close to that, if not that. And um, so shirts like these go for well over $20 at Hot Topic. That's the price of the box right there. And there's more stuff inside the box. So these boxes are definitely worth it. And um, if you're a big, you know, nerd or geek or whatever, um, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out these boxes. Okay, next up, we've got some... Um, this looks like uh, Deadpool. I didn't think Deadpool was a villain, but uh, socks. And I love crazy socks like this. So, um, yeah. I didn't think Deadpool was a villain. He's kind of crazy, but I didn't think he was really a villain. But um, I'm probably going to read the insert and find out it's not Deadpool, but forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so really, really nice socks. These go, uh, socks like these go for like six bucks or more at Hot Topic, so that's over the price that you're paying for the box. Uh, I've got another Loot Crate button. It says July 2014 Villain, and um, that's what it looks like. It has all the villains on it. It says uh, Harley Quinn. I hope I have something Harley related 
in here if it'll focus. Uh, maybe not. It's not going to want to focus. Okay, but it has uh, Darth Vader and Harley and uh, you can just see Loki in there and stuff. So it's really nice. I'll put that on my on my bag. And um, yeah, so I, I love having the different villain or the different buttons to put on my bag to show off, you know, exactly what I got. And I'll change, I'll start changing them out uh, monthly. I got a nice little Darth Vader keychain, which is really, really cool. I collect keychains, so it's awesome. And it's uh, rubberized, so really, really like that. And, uh, oh, this is so cute. It's Bowser doing the uh, Uncle Sam I Want You thing, and it's a magnet. And um, my closet doors are actually metal louvered doors, so I collect magnets as well, and this will definitely be going up on my, on my doors. Really excited. I am so impressed with this box. Okay, and this looks like it's a little mini poster. Let me see what this is all about. Get it out without um, tearing it up here. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. It is Harley Quinn and the Joker. And this is actually, uh, yes, I'm going to show off being a nerd here. Let me see if I can find it because I think I actually have it. It's a picture on uh, the black mirror. Oh, it's across the room. Pardon me for just a second. I'll go ahead and get it. Um, it's one of one of the most twisted uh, stories that I've read. And um, yeah, I just I've got to show that off because that is that is too cool. Okay. And uh, I don't know if they'll have, is it inside? I know they have it a little bit on the back, but I'm trying to see if they had it in here. Um, maybe not. So I'll just go ahead and, I'll just go ahead and show it on the back here. But that is, um, that is so awesome. So, uh, yeah, definitely, if you guys have a little bit of a sidetrack here, but if you guys haven't, um, read this graphic novel. I highly recommend it. It is a crazy, uh, twisted story and, um, it's actually very, uh, kind of took me by surprise a little bit. Um, has a lot of nice little uh, twists and turns in it, but, uh, Batman, The Black Mirror, if you haven't read this, I definitely highly recommend it. So, uh, now back to the unboxing after I have plugged the uh, graphic novel. Yeah, this is really awesome. I'm going to have to uh, maybe see about getting it framed so that it doesn't get messed up. But uh, yeah, my my um, favorite villain duo. I love, uh, I love Harley and the Joker. So let me go ahead and pick this up where I left off. Okay, Necessary Evil Super Villains of DC Comics. So what is this? I guess this is a DVD. It says, Experience the icons that forged fear. The Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, and Bane. What makes them so thrillingly watchable, so terribly wonderful, so extremely vital to our superheroes and their worlds? This new feature-length documentary explores these questions across seven decades of DC Comics hallowed Rogues Gallery of Infamous Evildoers. Prepare for a for diabolical delight. This is awesome. I can't wait to watch this. This is so cool. So you got a DVD in here as well. Um, got the backstory of all these different villains. That is great. I love that. And um, this is what's uh um, a little booklet that they include in every box to tell you what you got and a little bit of the backstory of why they chose the things that they did. Um, so I have to look and see who these uh, socks are. Yeah, they are Deadpool. Oh my goodness. 
says Deadpool Socks. We had considered putting chimichangas in every crate, but it was messy in trials. Check out these awesome socks that give you a hint of anti-hero without the pricey costs of layers, weapons, and medical bills. While there is a debate about how much of a villain Wade is, I mean, uh, Deadpool Socks. <laughs> that is great. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I guess they would consider him kind of, I guess, villainy, villainy, you know what I mean, uh, because he is like an anti-hero, but um, yeah, I don't really consider him a, him a villain too much. And the very last thing in this box, and I knew this was coming and I was, um, I was definitely excited about it, um, they pulled some strings and I know that the people who did uh, Loot Crate, they were really, really excited about this. Um, because they were in talks for a while to get this done. And it is an exclusive Rocket Raccoon comic. So um, that was one of the first things that I read about for this box. They were so very excited that this had come through and they had exclusivity for this. So um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to open this or not or if I'm just going to leave it sealed. Uh, because it does say Loot Crate exclusive on the top, and then uh, Rocket Raccoon is actually holding a Loot Crate. So I might just leave this sealed and just not even open it up um, and just have it in a collection. I don't usually leave things sealed, so that just tells you this kind of one of, but it's like one of a kind, kind of, um, because of its, uh, its kind of, um, you know, ex exclusivity, so... I'll probably just leave this bad boy sealed and just put him away in my comic box. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely impressed with this box this month. And uh, this is the bottom of the box. This is Best Buds, and it's the Batman and Joker. So, uh, yeah, that just shows you a little of what Loot Crate is like. They're a very, very fun company. I'll try not to show my address there, even though it is a P.O. box. Um... They're a very fun company, and I really enjoy getting, this is the second month I've had their box, but I'm definitely really going to start looking forward to their boxes just more and more, because you get a lot of stuff. The box pays for itself, usually within the first couple of items, and um, they're really, really well-made items. It's not like they're just chucking things in a box like, oh, this will go well, you know. I mean, you, you've got a DVD and a really nice keychain and socks and a shirt and you know, I mean, it's well worth the price of admission. I definitely recommend that if you're a dork or a nerd or you're into nerdy things, um, that you invest the money and, uh, it's only a little bit of money. It's like 20, you know, it's close to 20 bucks after all is said and done. But if you go to Hot Topic or you go to a comic book store and you were to pick up these things, you'd pay over 20 bucks plus tax. So it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, I've been very impressed for the past two months, and I can't wait for next month's box and to see what the theme is and see what they put together for us. So, I w again, I will leave my sign-up link in the description box below. So if you're interested, definitely click on that link and sign up. Um, yes, I am very upfront about that. I do get a kickback for you signing up, but that's something everybody can get. Uh, it's not exclusive to me. Uh, if you sign up, uh, you will have your own sign up link code that you can send to other people, and uh, you'll get a kickback when people sign up through your link. So it's not exclusive to me. Uh, I do not get any money from Loot Crate for promoting this at all, so they don't pay me. Uh, this is just, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't recommend the product. Absolutely not. But to me, I think it's very much worth it, and you can tell that um, they really love uh, putting the, their stuff together, and they put a lot of thought behind it. You know, you, you don't just have your, your standard villains. You have anti-heroes, you know, like... Um, Deadpool, and then, you know, and then you have your, you have, uh, Mario villains, you know, you have Bowser, you have, um, Robotnik or Eggman, depending on where you're at, uh, you have Loki, you know, so it, it just run across the board with this stuff, you can tell, like I said, everybody loves what they do, 
Um, and uh, there's a lot of love and a lot of effort put behind all this stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace, love, and happy gaming. Bye, guys.